Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you the best screen recorder for both the Prime OS and Phoenix OS. If you are a user of Prime OS or Phoenix OS then don't skip any part of the video. So let's begin this video. As you all know, Prime OS and Phoenix OS does not come with pre-installed screen recorders. So you have to download a screen recorder from Play Store. And the best screen recorder available in Play Store for both of these OS is Clip Screen Recorder, which also has a feature which lets you save all your recorded video files in cloud. So for installing it, you have to search for Glip in the Play Store. Then you can just install here. I had already installed it. So I will now open it. See this is the screen recorder. I will now maximize the screen. I had previously recorded some of the videos. And you can also record your video by simply clicking on this icon and then take the mouse up then click on start recorder and here you have to do some settings there are two features for this recorder to do screen recording the first one is replay last 60 second recording which only saves the last 60 second recording whenever you press on the recording option but we don't need it we only need the standard full screen recorder you can also use that but i will recommend you to use this and here are the settings for recording the video it is now set at medium at default you can also set it to low if you don't have much storage in your disk or internal storage i always record my videos using high or medium settings but i recommend you to use only the medium setting because it gives the best outcome in the lowest storage So I will use the medium settings and here are the audio settings for the screen recording. You can also set it to mute or microphone. The microphone option will only record the audio from the microphone and you can choose in-game audio and in-game audio and microphone option because it says that some features might be disabled because of Android OS limitations. Internal audio recording is not allowed for devices below Android 10. Unfortunately, in my case, my device is Android 7, so I can do the in-game audio recording. But most phones nowadays have Android 10 or above. So you can check that by simply going to your settings app and then scroll down, then click on the about device section. And here you will see the Android version. If Android version will not appear on the screen now, then simply click on the, the OS version, then scroll down. Then you can see that there is a version. I cannot do in-game audio screen recording or screen recording with both in-game audio and microphone because my Android version is at Android 7. So you can try that out if you use a device which supports this feature. And here are the additional settings. You can give any device storage location. You can also set a countdown. 
I would recommend you to set the countdown to 3 seconds or 5 seconds. And there is also an option which is that floating icon to start recorder which enables the floating icon when you launch recorder. Press on the start button in floating icon to start recording. Icon will be removed when recording starts. So you can also enable that. And these are the settings which you should use for your screen recordings. I would recommend you to set your screen orientation to your device standards. If you are doing a game screen recording, then set it to landscape. And if you are recording your display of your mobile or tablet or anything, then set it to portrait or landscape. Both will be good depending on your uses. And also you can give it accessibility permission. It will fix the problem that makes your teammates not able to hear you in game or your voice not being recorded in the screen recorder. So you can do that but I don't need that. So I will not do it. And you can also avoid abnormal recorder stuff but it is not that much necessary if you are using a mid-range or high-end device. It will be helpful in low-end devices only. So I will start the recording. You can click here. You need to double tap here to start the recording. See the recording is now started. It is now recording the stream. And you can also see that it is showing save and stop or pause option in the notification panel. If you will click on save and stop it will save the recording. And if you will click here it will pause the recording. Or you can also go to the app and then simply click on stop. The recording will be stopped and also will be saved in your device. So this is the recording. It records the screen without any lag. You can see that. And you can also add this screen recording to cloud. If you will click here. It is now uploading it to cloud. It does not take much time. So if this video will help you then please like this video, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends who are also using PrimeOS or thinking about using it.